Fredonia is home to many stories, from the heartwarming to the corrupted. Some from the last decade and some from eons ago before many of us walked the soil. In the mid-1900s, Z Fleming founded a corporation, one that would spread influence throughout a city in the Northeast Land Disc. Umbrella Corp became a major company with divisions across several disciplines. Established in 1950, Delta City flourished thanks to the influence of its founder, Umbrella Corp. Within a few decades, it was heralded as the city of the future. Clearly, this moniker did not stand the test of time, as Delta City is not a name traded among players that much anymore. Those approaching it are given a rough welcome by the local military. Helicopters, tanks, and more are ready to deter any Fredonian from entering its gates. The last voices to escape the city were over the airwaves of the city's primary radio station. They screamed of a desperate attempt to evacuate a city under siege, brave men fighting to the last soul, and those who couldn't bear the terror anymore. In early to mid-2010, 60 years after its founding, disaster struck. The official story is a nuclear reactor incident caused radiation to flood the city. The exclusion zone was to keep civilians safe out of the way of the harmful gamma rays. Except, it wasn't. Errors in the transmission warn us. Do not trust Z Fleming, do not trust the corporation, and do not believe their lies. Our mission? To find the radio station, find the broadcast, and find the truth. For anyone stealthy enough to make it inside the southern gates, consider yourself lucky. The southern half of town seems to have been evacuated and now remains a ghost of its original self. Not long after the incident occurred, evacuation orders were given. Whether or not these people made it out alive, or instead were silenced as loose ends, it is uncertain. But the skyscrapers now sit dormant. Moving north sits the quarantine zone. This is the point of no return for many, as the secret horrors lying on the other side have claimed many lives. There is even a warning on the other side of the wall. Anyone unauthorized seeking shelter in the safe zone would be fired upon. Umbrella Corp had to cover up what happened here, and they would silence anyone who knew the truth and tried to escape. But it came from where they couldn't control, the radio. Word made it out, either on foot or by voice. And as we enter this forsaken chapter, we can use it to help us find the story of what happened here. Just outside the quarantine wall is the airport. A lonely plane sits with its cargo hatch open. The runway sits relatively clear, but the moans of creatures can be seen across into the downtown. Zombies creep around in full hordes, waiting for the next victim. Instantly, we can start to piece together what happened. Somehow, these zombies started spreading throughout the city. The official story is that they likely stem from the radiation leak. But is that the truth? The airport was likely one of the first escape targets for individuals, but based on the last radio fragment, they didn't make it. Perhaps the zombies got to them, perhaps a missile shot them down. Another move to silence the truth. So Ryan left us here to die. Pretty much. <laughs> Police cars litter the streets underneath the corporate headquarters. 
Little remains inside of the tower. Even the chopper has left, likely evacuating the higher-ups while leaving their workers to fend for themselves. A helpful note can be found atop the tower, making it clear someone was left behind. Two officers abandoned, held out as long as they could, before choosing to go out on their own terms. The people here were abandoned, possibly locked in during the outbreak. For everyone that fell, the zombies gained more numbers. With the gates closing, it's uncertain how many fled. Those who ran for the airport likely came from here in the city center. From the broadcast, we understand Slow Riot was present during the attack. Either being a part of the company or an officer gave him authority over the local military. For whatever reason, he abandoned the officers of the city center, assumedly retreating north into Rivertown. Speaking to the tanks, he orders them to stand their ground and hold them off at any cost. We know, of course, Slow Riot survived his encounters, but to what end did it cost the citizens of Delta City? Marked as military only, I imagine he retreated through the north gate and found his way to safety, maybe hiding out in the waste disposal plant until a rescue team came. We're, we're still alive out here. Send. The final transmission is brief, only speaking of some holdouts waiting for extraction. After scouring every inch of the city I was able, I believe I located the source of the distress call. West of town at the docks, notes are left by a band of civilians. It appears they stole or commandeered a police car and drove it right through the wall. They scavenged the lighthouse for supplies, but the infection followed them outside. It's unknown if they made it to a boat or escaped and fell victim to the horde. It's also unknown if they were the source of the distress call or if it was somebody else entirely. It might be a secret lost to time. Amidst all the chaos, the infection perpetuated and still sits veiled from the world today. But the question is, what happened? Was it really a radiation leak that caused the mutation? Or was it something more sinister? A weapon by Umbrella Corporation that got loose and destroyed the city they helped build? History speaks of no answer. So that decision is left to you. As for the signals, Maybe some people held out at the radio tower to amplify them in hope of getting some help, or to simply get the truth out about what was happening to the public. Unfortunately, I think the chapter on Delta City might be closed forever. So, I leave you with this. Sincerely, The Archivist. <laughs>